welcome to my channel. I'm Shelly, the Thrifty Farm Mama, and if you're new, uh, I am a part-time reseller, a busy mom, I work, and I go to school at the same time. So this video is going to be about what I got at the Goodwill and how much I could possibly make reselling it on eBay, Poshmark, uh, possibly Mercari, even though I don't really like Mercari that much, just because it's, I don't know, a little difficult for me to sell on. But anyway, I, I'm going to show you what I spent at Goodwill, what I got. I'm going to show you this rack right here. And just a disclaimer, these are all things that I got before we were quarantined, before we had to stay at home. So these are things that I've had for a little while, um, and I've wanted to do a video, and I just haven't had the time to do it. So now I do. Go figure. And I'm going to show you what I got and what I think I'll probably make. So here is my receipt. I spent $24.11. Um, I typically only buy things on sale and I'm really, really, really trying to not buy low dollar items. I'm really trying to up my game uh, because I don't have the time to list $10 items. Um, so I'm really trying to increase my sales and I'll show you what I got because I think I could possibly take these five items, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, seven items and possibly get over 300 for them. So I'm going to show you what I got because it was pretty exciting when I got it. Um, so just basically these things here, I'm going to show you some of the smaller things first. These are a pair of Koi scrub pants. Um, now I know I'm trying to up my game. I'm not going to make a whole lot for them, but as a nurse myself, I know how expensive Koi scrub pants are and they're just cargo. Um, I did not pay very much for them. Again, they were $2.99 full price and I think I got them for half off. So $1.50, I should be able to get like 11 to $12 for this pair and they are an extra small. Uh, but I do have another pair of extra small, so I'll put that together in a lot. Um, so that's kind of a lower end item. I found this um, Lauren Ralph Lauren denim shirt, and it's a long tunic style. I will probably keep this for myself. Um, I just need to clean it up and see. It depends. I don't know. They are probably going for about $15 to $20 right now on eBay. Um, so I could resell that as well. All right, next I bought this. I love J. Jill. For those of you who sell J. Jill, I absolutely love it. Again, this is a tunic um, button down top. And I, again, I probably paid $2 for it, 250 for it. So I expect to put it up for about 20 to $25 uh, with best offer. And my um, buyers do pay shipping on that. So I'm gonna just set these down here so I don't lose track of where I'm at. Um, next, I bought this, another brand that I know is expensive when you buy it new. And this, when I can find it used, I will, but this is Garnet Hill. So again, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Garnet Hill, this is a size medium. It is 100% cashmere, which is another reason why I bought it. Uh, I buy cashmere if I can get it really inexpensive and even if there's flaws in it, if I can get it for less than a dollar, I will pay less than a dollar for it. But this is um, because I put it in lots, like crafting lots, sewing lots, stuff like that. But it's like a dolman sleeve, long, purple, beautiful sweater. It's very soft. There's no flaws in it at all that I found. So I'll probably put that up for between 20 and 25 also. Um, now, these are the last three that I'm going to show you from this shopping trip were my absolute best finds. These are my money makers. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is this vintage um, women's denim jacket. It's Levi's for girls. So if you can see, there's no size in it, but I'm guessing it's probably a size small um, by just the measurements on it. But as you can see, it's got these nice big pockets, these cool brass buttons on them. Um, this is the back and it's long. There are a couple of denim jackets that are, it probably had a belt at one point, but it doesn't come with the belt, which is fine. But there's, I love vintage clothes, um, and you're gonna see that in a lot of my hauls. But look at these cool pockets down here, I just love it. And there's the, and it's a big E Levi's, you guys. I was so pumped when I found this. So when I was shopping, I had like literally 20 minutes at the store and it was before I had to get home to pick up kids from school and I'm like you know I'm just gonna run in real quick even though I don't really need anything obviously I don't need anything but I ran in and oh when I was looking through stuff they said over the loudspeaker 
that today's manager special was all jackets, coats, and sweaters were half price. So I'm like, okay. So I ran over to the jackets and I basically just saw the shoulder of this and I knew it was vintage. Pulled it out. I saw Levi's for girls. Um, let's see, what was the tag on it? $7.99. So I paid $4 for this jacket. I'm going to put it up for over 100 and see what what kind of interest I get. But it was super exciting. And then the fact that it's a Levi's with a big E, even better. Um so I'm pumped. I think that's gonna that's a great find. It'll be, you know, coming into summer, it's probably not the best time to be listing it, but it's a really cool item. So I'm gonna list it anyway, because I don't wanna hang on to a bunch of stuff for later. So that was really cool. So also I was looking, when the loudspeaker came out, I was looking through the sweaters and when I, there's so much stuff. It can be so overwhelming when you're in the Goodwill. So I kind of go through things like this and you can tell by the feel of a, of the fabric. You can tell by the stitching on it, uh, the, the type of pattern on your fabric, kind of the quality of it. So I was looking through and I saw this sweater and I pulled it off and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is so soft so soft and then i looked i've never heard of this brand this is a new to me brand um for those of you who might know it it's called acne studio i believe that's how you pronounce it it's foreign but as you can see like the tag is tacked on so you know as soon as you see that tacked on tag that this is a higher quality this isn't this isn't sewn on by a sewing machine this is hand sewn on um and this is a very oversized um, big fluffy it's like a mohair blend it's so soft there's no holes in it um, so I knew right away that it was good quality so I went ahead and I just I put it in my cart and then I just researched the tag you guys these sweaters sell for like $300 new 300 they're selling for over a hundred used so I paid the price is $5.99 I ended up paying $3 for this sweater and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is so great. So I literally, <laughs> I put that in my cart like right away and you know, you know how when you find a treasure and you're like, did anybody see me? Did anybody see this? Like, is somebody going to take this out of my cart? And then I'm looking down and like literally two feet down, I see a dark brown one. You guys, same brand, same brand. It is gorgeous. It's so soft. It's got, it's again, oversized. It's the exact same sweater. Um, and I believe this is a size small, possibly extra small, but they run, they're oversized. So this could easily fit a small, medium sized person, depending on how oversized you want it. Um, they're supposed to be like kind of that leg and look that really bulky and baggy, but again, no flaws. I've looked these over several times, no holes, nothing. So even if I got a hundred dollars, for the last three items, that's th and that's being conservative. That's three hundred dollars right there. So, turning twenty four into three hundred, uh, yes, please. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so now I'm just gonna show you a few of the other things that I picked up at a different time. So that was my one shopping trip, and then these are all also from Goodwill that I picked up. Not necessarily all at the same time. It was probably a couple different shopping trips. Um, and I've just kind of compiled them because these are the things that I want to list today. So that's why I'm doing the videos because I need to get these photographed and listed today. Um, just because I don't have, I've already listed a bunch of stuff. So this is just an Ann Taylor. And again, I picked it up because why? It's cashmere. There's no holes in it. I will probably list it for sale. Um, the armpits need a little bit of deep hilling, which is fine. I just use my deep hiller which I should have a link to that down below if you guys are interested. Uh, but it is 100% cashmere. All the buttons are there. There's no holes in it. There's a couple little stains. Uh, I might try to get that out with just a little bit of warm water because I don't really want to wash it because cashmere is very, very fragile. And as soon as you wash it, it just gets holes in it. So we'll see. Um, this is, I got this at a different thrift store, not at the Goodwill, at one of my little honey holes. Now, purple tags were three for $1.99. I don't ever, hardly ever buy anything brand new. I always go to the sale racks first and look through those. But this is just a uh, soft and sexy. I love American Eagle soft and sexy. Um, it's just, and it's like an ombre blue. I love this. If it was, if it was a bigger size, I would totally keep it, but it's not. Um, I'll probably list that for about 15 to $20. The cashmere sweater, I might list for maybe 20, 19.99. See what kind of interest I get. This is another vintage piece. As you can see the tag, hopefully you can see the tag. 
Um, that is a Lyle and Scott. It's 100% cashmere again. So I'll probably list it as a grandpa sweater and then um, see how it goes. I probably paid like $2 for it. If it doesn't sell after a few months, I'll probably take it down and put it in my, a cashmere lot. I have several sweaters. I found this awesome vintage prom dress. I'm so excited. Look at this. It is a Jessica McClint McClintock and it's like a shiny opalesque, like peach colored. It has a, a satin bow. It has tulle underneath of it. It's a strapless. It is like a size tiny, which is a bummer, but it's a size extra small. Again, purple tag. So I got this for less than a dollar. Um, I kind of couldn't pass it up just because it is vintage. Probably, it's probably 90s. This looks like something my best friend would have worn to a prom. So, and that was her size. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying that because that looks like something she would wear. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably put that up for maybe 30, right around 30, 35 and see. I've sold some prom dresses before that did really well. So, but that was a while ago. I haven't bought prom dresses in a long time. Um, again, here is another, this purple tag. So I only paid, I paid less than a dollar. This is exclusively co-op by Barney's New York and it is 100% silk. This gray has like a faux wrap front, these beautiful oversized shorter sleeves. Um, it's this long skirt right here. So there's a few marks on it. It looks like it's just from like deodorant, like somebody had, ooh, sorry, somebody had tried it on and it probably didn't fit. And so there's, those are really easy to get out with just a little bit of warm water. But this is beautiful, it's Ula Johnson. Um, and I believe I looked it up at one point, but I'll probably put this up for probably around $50. And again, I paid less than a dollar for it. So it's, it's a beautiful silk dress. This is another one that I had gotten for less than a dollar. And the brand is called Cullen. This was a new to me brand. Ugh, the tag is in the way. Sorry, I forgot to take the tags off. But anyway, it's like cursive Cullen. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that. It's a size large. It is a beautiful tunic top also. It's got this beautiful like embroider, or not embroidery, but kind of like ruching on it. Oh my gosh, this is like, there we go. Get me out of the picture. Um, and it's longer. I typically try to shy away from cream colored and white colored um, tops because they're really difficult to photograph. Um, but I'm just gonna throw it on my mannequin. I haven't used my mannequin in a long time, so I'm kind of excited to to switch things up again and start using them again. Um, here is another one. I believe I paid less than a dollar for this also. I mean, this is gonna bleach or, this is a long 1990s vintage black velvet maxi dress, oversized. And then there's the back, it ties in the back. It's got these cute little roses on the front, right here, these little rosebuds. And it's long, so it goes all the way down to the floor. Woo, there we go. I'm probably going to put that up for between $35 and $40. I think it'll do really well um, just because of the style. It would look great with a pair of Doc Martens purple ones or burgundy ones like I had in high school. Um, this also is another vintage dress. This is a vintage Eddie Bauer. And I've seen several of these sell for about $40 to $45. And this is a size 12. It's a navy blue with these floral marks on them. It's corduroy. It has pockets, which I love, and they are deep pockets. So I've, I actually wore this a, a couple of times, but um, just for the fun of it, it's such a cool dress. It's definitely one of those modest dresses that you can put in the title of modest because it is longer, there's no slits in it, and it is a desired style for the more of a modest community. So I don't see any problem selling that. This I got, it's Zara. You can see that yes it is a size um, small so but it is it's a little romper and I should be able to get probably about 15 to 20 dollars for that I'll put it up it'll probably sell most likely on Poshmark and I paid just a couple dollars for that and it feels like it's new uh, this is a soft surroundings this is another one of those brands that is does very well and it's a it's a larger size so it's a size 1x and I can't, I think it's a wrap dress. So it almost, it's almost like this, the length of like a robe and it has like sleeves that are kind of like a robe. It has these wide cuffed sleeves that also roll up and button up here. So soft, soft, all soft surrounding things are so soft, but it being a size one X, 
I should be able to get between 25 and 30 for that. So hopefully that'll come. This was another one that I was, I, I know the brand, it's, I think it's pronounced Uniqlo. And this is a European brand and I've sold this in um, children's sizes and I think I sold a men's brand of this, but again, this was half off. So I paid about $4 for it and it is an oversized, very like leg and look long tunic dress with pockets, which I love. That is a huge selling point. So there's pockets there. It's very drapey um, and it's like a dark gray. So I thought that was really cool. Hopefully that'll do well and hopefully it'll photograph well. We'll see. All right, a few more things. This also I got for less than a dollar. Look at the back is so cute. Very strappy. Um, this is uh, called Carve Design. And it is a little rayon dress with pockets, <laughs> of course. And it has like the hem is a um, asymmetric, not asymmetrical, it's a high low hem it's called, where it's higher on the top and it's low on the bottom. So that is really cute. Hopefully that'll fit my mannequin. If it doesn't, I'll just lay or hang it up on my, I have a hook too. Um, this is a J. Crew. Um, hand knit 100% lamb's wool sweater. The tag kind of came loose, but it's really nice. There are some stains on it, but I did wash it and I, I was not able to get out. So I'm just going to have to list it out. Is This is not the best time to be listing a big chunky sweater. So I don't know if I want to key store it away or just list it. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Here is a J. Crew linen jacket. It really needs... I like J. Crew. I like J. Jill. Um, J. Crew does well for me. This is vintage. It's a dark green tag and it's not a factory. I don't usually pick up J. Crew factory. It has the three little dots underneath it uh, just because those are less quality, but it's this, just this really cute spring linen jacket. I'll probably, I'll try to get some of the wrinkles out, but I don't think I'll be able to get all of them out. I think it's meant to look a little wrinkly, which is just fine. Um, this is an Olivia Sky cardigan sweater. Nothing fancy. I don't even remember. I don't even remember when I got this, honestly. But it's just a cute little cardigan sweater. I'll probably list that for about 15 with shipping. This is awesome. It is a vintage Japanese kimono. And it does come with the tie. It is gorgeous. Here is the sleeve. If you guys can see that. It's beautiful. Um, it's probably like a women's small. I live in a military town, so... I do get, um, we do get a lot of like Japanese things, you know, people that have gone abroad, but there's the sleeve again. It's just this beautiful floral orange and yellow um, kimono. It looks like it's more of like a size small. It's pretty, well, I could probably fit a medium. I don't know. Kimonos are pretty forgiving. So that's really cute. I'll probably put that up for 49 It feels like it's silk, but I'm, there's no um, material tag in it. So I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Um, and then this is just an awesome vintage 80s Sundancer. It's, this is the brand. And it's this bright, like, sweatshirt striped. Like, it's awesome. Pullover. So um, I'll probably put that up for, like, $25.99 or something and see how it goes. So that was everything on my rack. Thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned because I'm, I have an est uh, hoarder's estate sale haul that I want to show you guys and it's all vintage stuff um, that I got there and it's not just clothes but I have some awesome vintage clothes that I want to show you so that'll be my next video have a great day you guys thanks bye